Good morning, Tabernacle Worship. Welcome to our morning online daily devotion. And uh, today, I would have talked about that it is good. Okay, my title is It Is Good, and it's taken from Psalms 92, verses 1 and 2, from the New Living Translation. It goes this way. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to the Lord Most High. It is good to proclaim your unfailing love in the morning and your faithfulness in the evening. Amen. Now, it is good to give thanks to who? To God. Why? It is good because for all the things that God has done, for the great things that He has done in our lives, with the many, even with many difficult challenges and things and errands to do, you know. You and I, sometimes we may wake up and uh, with wrong side of bed or not, not, just not feeling like thanking God, you know. You may be going through a tough day, yeah. But, you know, those things could validify us by, you know, a reason to complain instead. But no, the Word of God commands us. It is good to give thanks to God. Why? Because a heart of gratitude gives us the right focus in our attitude towards life. An ungrateful heart will always try to seek pity. Poor me. I did nothing to deserve this kind of treatment. God doesn't care. God is not concerned for me. But a heart full of appreciation and thanks to God, God I know. Even though that there are challenges, it may be difficult, maybe difficult people that you place in my life, probably there's reason and a, a season for it. I'm really thankful because God, you believe that I can grow from it. Thank you for allowing these things to happen in my life so that God's strength is evident and the miraculous can take place in my life. Amen. Secondly, it is good. First one is to proclaim His unfailing love. Our gratefulness towards God must stem from the source that is the unfailing love of God. If we have forgotten our place, you know, remember that we were once undeserving, we were unworthy because of our sin and rebellion. We were cut off from God's presence. And it's only because of God's unfailing love He bought us and He redeems us. You and I must declare the truth of that all days of our lives. If not for God's love, where would we be today? The huh? Bible says that nothing in this life can ever separate us from the love of God. You know, uh, how can we show our thankfulness other than telling those around us? How God's love has been so much that He gave His one and only Son, Jesus, if God is so good to us, if uh, He saved us, He bought us with a heavy price, why are we keeping this good news to ourselves? What's wrong with us? Are we ashamed of the gospel? We cannot keep this great gospel to ourselves. It cannot remain hidden. we got to proclaim it. We've got to share it. Amen. Secondly, not just proclaim uh, the good news and the salvation of God's love, but we also got to proclaim His faithfulness. Yeah? Every morning, will you and I wake up and say, Great is your faithfulness, O God, to me. His overflowing grace and tender mercies for us. The Bible says what, what? It will never cease. It never stops. It never runs dry. They are new every morning. The Bible says when we were once faithless, God remains faithful. For God cannot deny Himself. We can stand today with so much gratefulness in our hearts because the fact that God is faithful. He cannot deny Himself. He forever remains the same and God will never ever change. When we remember to acknowledge the faithfulness of God, we can willingly surrender to the will and purposes of God. If God says that He will never leave us nor forsake us, and if He promised not to harm us, but to give us a good hope and a future, but so that's because God is faithful and no doubt God will certainly fulfill it. And therefore, what else can we do but other than to proclaim it? Amen? We must declare it over our lives. God, I don't care how I feel, how I see it, or how whatever I think, I don't care. The Word of God says, has the final say, 
if God says, the word of God says that God is faithful, I'm going to believe it. Amen. So as we come to close, I just want to say this little short prayer for all of us. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for today that we will not take things for granted, but to start the day right with a grateful heart. That is God, it is good to give thanks to you. It is good to proclaim your unfailing love and faithfulness over us. Help us to develop a right attitude of submitting everything that happens in our life. And when we can boldly declare that you are always good because you love us to the end, because you're faithful, Lord, we want to commit, Lord, everything, our lives, and we willingly commit it into your hands. Bless our lives and our day, O oh God. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, guys. God bless you. You have a great day ahead. It is good. Remember that.